Walk in your trap and take over. over. Name another bitch that's cold. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. older. And that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold you. I that bitch, and I thought that they told you. That bitch. Pretty bitch with an attitude. What's up, you guys? Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, this is Monica, and I am back with another freaking video. And as you guys know, it is Vlogtober. So, I'm not sure which day y'all gonna see this video, but nonetheless, happy Vlogtober. Y'all will get to see my face every day for 31 days, I hope. Don't hold it. To, don't hold me to that, but I'm gonna try my best, I promise. But... <laughs> Y'all yeah, actually might see this day one, but we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But yeah, your girl got the little press on. Um, got my little. I tried to do something to my hair. Put my little heart earrings. I'm feeling real hearty. Y'all see my nose rings. Heart period. Ring on my hand. It's a heart. My bracelet. Yes. Real lover girl. Don't play with her. But really, I just tried to get cute or whatever. Because y'all know I've been a little funk. So I tried to get cute. So. Yeah. So, as y'all see by the turn thumbnail, since it is block turbo, I decided to give y'all like a little spooky story time. Which is really not spooky, but just know I was scared as shit. So, I'm gonna give y'all story time on time that someone broke into my apartment. While I was here, as I must say, I was here. So, I have, first of all, I just want to say that I stay in Jackson, Mississippi, and y'all. If you know it, you know. Like, Jackson is probably like the worst place to stay in. Like, like <laughs> it's terrible. It's so much stuff going on. It has been so much stuff going on lately as far as like people running into the back of people's cars to rob them and kill them. People snatching people up at gas station, like sex trafficking, leaving stuff in your doors and you touch and you pass out. All kind of shit. Like, I am terrified of staying in Jackson. Like, it's crazy. For the hell someone to break into my apartment. The yeah, girl she did on herself. Like, let's be for real. Like B F F R B fucking for real. Like, I was scared shitless. Like, this not gonna be a very long story time, but we just gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on those post notification bell so you get notified every time you upload another video. And don't forget to become one of my best friends. Cause I love all my best friends, as y'all see. And all, I love all my best friends. And all my best friends love me. And that's on who and that's on what? Somebody piece of paper wearing their granny. Period. So this happened about three weeks ago. About two, about two or three weeks ago, whatever. So, actually this happened as soon as I came back from Houston. I came back on a Monday, this happened that Wednesday, period. So let me just tell y'all, so my best friend was, I told him to come down here or whatever, and he was like, no. <laughs> well, he didn't say no, okay, so basically I tried to get him calm when I first got back, and he ain't calm or whatever. So, they, whatever day it was, something was going on up in Memphis, and I told him I'm not gonna work because that's when that little after that boy was going around killing everybody and he working with me. So I was like, you don't need to go to work because nobody, I'm not trying to, you know, I don't want you to get killed type shit. So I was like, so he was like, okay, I'm not gonna go. So I was like, good, might as well come to Jackson. <laughs> like, might as well, right? So he was like, okay. And in my head, I'm thinking, you lying. Because he said, okay, too quick. Like, he ain't giving me no. He ain't say no extra stuff. Like, he ain't say, okay, I'm going to come after da-da-da. Nothing. He just said, okay. So, I'm like, mm, you lying or whatever. I didn't believe him. And we shared locations with her and stuff. So, he had so his location turned off. So, I was like, so, I'm like, your location turned off again. He ignored it. And he just started talking about other stuff. But he kept saying, he did say he was coming. He was like, I'm going to come after I get the shower and stuff like that. So, I'm like, all right, cool. So, I had got done doing her. So, I, I had asked him around like eight. Ate some. So I got done doing her stuff. I went up in the kitchen. I cooked me something to eat. Stuff like that, right? So yeah, boom. He still texted me, but he texted me super slow. He texts me like every 15, 20 minutes. And I'm st I don't got his location because I can't check it. So yeah, it is what it is. I'm like, right, whatever. So he told me he was like, I'm about to get in the shower. And I'm like, dang, you ain't got in the shower yet. Cause at this point it had been like an hour and so. So I'm like, you ain't got in the shower yet. And stuff like that so he was like nah he was talking to your mama i was like okay cool 
So then he texted me at like 10, 10, almost 11 some. And he was like, I'm finna leave now. I'm not gonna make it until like one in the morning. And I'm like, what in the morning? Like, no, 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 one in the morning. But I'm like, okay. And the thing with him, he don't like to drive late and he always get sleep when he drive. So he said he won't go back to one o'clock in the morning. I said, okay, I don't care, bring your ass. Like, come on. Cause he'll try to say like, oh, it's too late and I'm tired. I ain't gonna nah. So I was like, I don't care, bring your ass. Like, you said you gonna make it at one o'clock in the morning? Oh, yeah, I'll stay up. I'm gonna be waiting. So, yeah, that happened. So, yeah, so I'm in my room. Laying down. Like I said, this is not gonna be a long story time at all, y'all. So yeah, I'm in my bedroom laying down. Y'all know this is not my master bedroom. The master bedroom is actually my hair room. You know, they got a, it got a door that actually leads outside to the balcony. But this bedroom was bigger, so that's why I chose this to be my room. I'm laying down in my bed with just scroll. I think I was scrolling on TikTok or Facebook or something. Yet. Now, one thing about me, if y'all know me and y'all been watching me for a long, like a good amount of time, I don't like open doors in my house. I don't like open doors. Like I don't know. It's just something about an open door that bothers me. I'm not, I'm not with the open doors. Like I closed every single door, the bathroom door, the hair room door, my room door. I closed every single door in my house. Like I don't want to walk through my house and look into no room. Like it irritates my soul if somebody come to my house and use my bathroom and leave the door open. I'd be like, close the fucking door. It irritates me if somebody come in my room and don't close my door. But like. Right now, my door is closed. Like, I sit up in my room with my door closed and I lock. But the thing about this night is I always lock my room door. I don't care if it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't care if it's 8 o'clock at night. I always lock my room door. I come in. It's like, it's like a reflex. Like, I come in, lock the door. Like, it's like a reflex. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel secure because I stay by myself. I'm a young female. I stay by myself. So, I just feel secure if I lock my door. Right? For some reason, this day, I didn't lock it up. This night, I ain't locked my room though, right? Cool. So I'm just laying in my bed or whatever, scrolling on my phone like this. You know, I'm laying down like this. And I'm just scrolling, 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 scrolling. So yeah, I'm just scrolling, 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 right? Next thing I know, my door creaks open like. So, keep in mind, y'all, I'm laying in the bed. I'm laying down on my phone. So when my door creak open, I, I, I'm looking at the door, like I'm staring at the door, like, cause you know, as a black person, I ain't gonna just say as a black person, cause you know, other races probably do this too, but y'all, you know us. As black people, if we hear something, we stare to see if we gonna hear it again, right? So I'm laying in the bed and my door open, it cracked open a little bit, so I'm like, Because, why the fuck did my door just open on its own? So then, okay, I'm thinking like, all right, maybe I didn't close the door all the way. Because I do know sometimes in my apartment, you know, if I don't close the door all the way, it, it will like creak and open up a little bit. So I'm like, damn, maybe I ain't closed my door all the way, right? But my black hair is not finna get up and go close it because I'm scared. Because in the back of my head, I'm also thinking like, why the fuck did my door just creak open? But I'm also trying to keep myself calm and cool and just think like, okay, maybe... You know, it just, it just did it. Like, you know, not too much. And like I said, this nigga said he wasn't gonna be here till one o'clock in the morning, so I'm not thinking it's him. And we are texting. So I'm laying, I'm laying in the bed, I'm looking at the door like, I'm talking about stirring that junk down. Stirring it down. Y'all, I kid y'all not. Next thing you know is I hear footsteps walking back to my living room. At this point, my heart done fell into my ass because, bitch, it's somebody up in my apartment with me. And they was like, I footsteps. I'm talking about, they, make, they was making it known to me that they was up in here. So, so y'all, it's so funny because I got out of my bed. I got out of the bed and I slammed, dummy. Now they know I'm in here, but I slammed my room door and locked it, right? That was very dumb because now they know I'm in here. Why I ain't just close it real softly and lock it? No, bitch, I slammed the door and I locked it right now. They know I'm in here for sure, for sure, right? Swear to God, soon as I slammed that door and locked it, they come, they was running back to my room and they were to my door, like, 
Oh my God, y'all. I'm sitting in here like, heart beating, cause I'm like, Lord, please don't let this be the way I'm finna die. No, God, please, no, no, no. Like God, I'm sitting up in this room, I don't have nothing to protect myself. I don't got no blicky. I don't got no knife up in her. I don't got no, I ain't got no escape. Where can I go? Can't jump out the window, cause I stay upstairs. Like, I'm like, oh my God, like, God, please. <laughs> please don't let this be the way that you take your girl out the game, okay? Please, Lord, please, please, please. So I'm sitting here. I'm shaking, y'all. I'm scared, right? Again, I cannot check this man location because he turned it off. But I'm also not thinking it's him because he told me he wasn't going to be here until 1 o'clock in the morning. So in my head, somebody broke into my apartment and they finna kill me. And I'm thinking, it gotta be the maintenance man. How else did they get in here? The maintenance man gotta keep everybody. I'm like, okay. Like, but it's like 11 o'clock at night, y'all. So I'm like, what the fuck? I am scared shitless, I swear to God. Like, I was in here about to cry. Like, I was so scared. And they stood in, yanking me up. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So, my first thoughts was to FaceTime my best friend, right? Why I turned my phone down? I turned it down so they wouldn't know that I was calling somebody. Why I turned the phone down? Here go my phone. Do, 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 do. No. If they didn't know I was in here for slamming the door, they definitely know I was in here now trying to call somebody. My phone. Do, 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 do. I'm like, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So of course he answered the phone. So now I'm like, bro. Bruh. So I text him. Cause now I'm like, he gotta be playing with me. Like, it's gotta be a joke. I just know ain't nobody done broke into my apartment and finna kill me. I like this gotta be a joke. He has to be playing with me. Like, there is no way this is the end of the road for me. Like, there is no way. Like, God did not write this down in the way that I was gonna die. Like, I just know he didn't. Like, please, I do not want to be tortured. Like, he did not do this. And I just know he didn't, right? So I text him, I'm just like, if this is you playing, let me know, cause on God, I'm finna call my mama. First of all, my mama stayed three hours away. What the fuck was she gonna do? Cause I called her, like, oh my, I think somebody in my apartment, I don't know, I'm probably finna die. What the fuck could she do though? She was three hours away, by the time she got here, I would've been probably chopped up and put up in a wall or some shit. Like, what was she going to do? But in my head, I'm just like, okay, I'ma let you know. If you don't hear from me, I'm dead. Somebody in my apartment, I love you. Like, something. But luckily, I did not call my mom because I probably scared the fuck out of her. But I was scared, y'all. And that was the first thing that goes in my head. I got to tell my mom. I got to call my mom. That was the first thing. But luckily, I did not call my mom, right? The damn, the, I had I had some little little bitty ass seals on my, on my vanity, right? And I had them seals, and I'm sitting up in the bed like this. Because you can unlock my door with your finger. All you got to do is stick your hand in the nail. I mean, not fuck all you gotta do is stick your hand in the thing and turn it and you can unlock the door right so i heard them trying to do that i'm like oh my god they finna get me like so then i'm thinking like okay bitch you can run and hide in the closet closet ain't got no lock on the door so they can open the closet can't get under the bed because i'm too damn big can't jump out the window because i'm on the second floor now everything like the whole time in my head i'm thinking like why did i not make the other bedroom my bedroom like why did i not keep the master bedroom in my room because bitch i would have been good and gone out that back door and down the steps in my car and gone i swear to god hey, 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 hey. and i'm just thinking like well, how could you be so stupid how could you be so dumb destiny like how so i'm sitting up in the room let's just say these are seals like i'm sitting up in the room like this sitting on my bed sitting straight up with them, y'all, the seals are so small. Like, I don't feel like getting up and going to get them, but they about, this, they about this long. I swear to God. And I'm sitting there with the seals like this. And I hear dude, I hear them jangling the door with them. So they went, then I hear them go in the kitchen and I hear them rummaging through my silverware stuff. So I was like, oh my God. They finna slice and dice me. Like, they finna get a knife and they finna slice and dice me. Like, they finna chop me up into little bitty Disney Ronica pieces. Like, 
I'm really finna die like this. Like, y'all, cause in my head, it's like, I cannot defend myself. Like, I don't have nothing to defend myself. Like, I was just picturing my death and I was just preparing myself to die because y'all, it wasn't gonna be nothing I could do. Like, I'm sitting here like, I don't have nothing. Like, I have nothing. So I'm sitting there with the knife or whatever. So then, they beat on it though. They go, boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, oh my God, I start crying. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, yo, I was like, been a cry. I'm like, oh my God. So next thing you know, they were like, open the door, open the damn door. What do you mean by that? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're gonna have to come in here and get me. You're gonna have to open this motherfucker. I'm not gonna open the door to my deaths. Are you crazy? Are you dumb? Are you stupid? No, you're gonna have to come over here and you're gonna have to get me. I'm not gonna open the door to my death. Like, I'm not gonna open the fucking door to, for you. Who the fuck do I look like? So then, I'm like, mm -mm. I'm not opening the door. I'm still sitting in the bed like this, shaking y'all when I tell you I was shaking. Like, my I was vibrating, bitch. My body was like, like, I was so freaking scared. Oh my god. So then, my bitch went like, girl, open the door. Come again, say what? So I get up, I'm like, talk. Like, you need to let me know this you before I open it door. So he was like, girl, open the door, just curious. So I'm, I talk, open the door, I'm like, why you playing? You play so much, you had me scared. Da, da, da. But y'all, if I had a gun, that nigga would have been shot. Like I, like and I told, I was like, don't do that no more. Like it's too much going on in the world to be playing with people like that. Like, cause I was genuinely freaking scared shitless. Like if I had a gun, I probably wouldn't have thought nothing about it. Like I'm gonna protect myself. Cause in the day you broke into my house. Well, he ain't breaking into it. He had a key. But I ain't hear this man come through, no. I ain't hear that man unlock that front door. I ain't hear none of that. All I heard was my goddamn bedroom door creak open. So I was just like, don't do that no more. Like, cause you just get the fuck out of me. And if I had a gun, you would've been shot because it's too much stuff. Especially me staying in Jackson, bro. It's too much shit going on. I'm thinking like this one of these little Jacksonian hoodlums, hooligans, like, they come to get me, round me ass, round me up, and collect me, and you know, like people really kill people and put them in the wall, and I did not want to be put in the wall, like. So I was like, please don't play, y'all. I was sick so bad, I didn't even want to talk no more. I got to be able to sleep because you play too fucking much. Like you play too much. I could have beat the fuck out of that boy because, boy, why the fuck would you do that? Like, yeah, I ain't never been so scared in my life. I swear to God, like. And it, you know, something in the back of my head was telling me it's him, but I also just couldn't believe, like I didn't want to let my guard down to believe it was him and open the door and then, bitch, I'm getting, or pop, pop, uh, choked the fuck out or some shit. Like, you know, so I had to be, I was like, I, I went through a hundred of emotions, I swear to God. Like, I was so freaking scared. Like, I ain't never been this scared in my life. I ain't never been this scared in my life. Like, yeah, I was like, bruh, ain't no way. Like, there's no freaking way. But, on the good side, on the other hand, on the good note, whatever I'm trying to say, it was him. Lord, thank you, Jesus. So, I pray. Yeah, I had to thank God. Like, because I really thought I was going to die. Like, I. So, I'm just grateful that it was him and it was not. Death knocking at my door, you know, the dude that being the black, the Grim Reaper, baby, I'm just glad the Grim Reaper wasn't at my zoo, because y'all wouldn't even be able to see this video, like, I would been gone, y'all be staying rest in peace, this is my name, because y'all tell me I ain't had nothing to feel myself, like, nothing, and I, I, it wasn't nothing I can do, okay, I, I wasn't even probably gonna put up a fight, I was just gonna, like, take me, come on, just, just get it over with, like, Cause I was so fucking scared, yeah, it don't matter Like, and you always, you know how people always say like, oh, I would've did it all. Bro, you don't know what the fuck you would do 
until you were put in this situation. Like, we always hollering about, oh, I would have beat the fuck out of them. Oh, they went wrong me. Baby, you you say that tough ass shit, but somebody put you, a gun in your face or some shit like that, you, yeah, okay. You don't know what you'll do until you put in this situation in. I'm gonna stop saying what the fuck I will do because baby, I was scared and I was just gonna let them do what the fuck they had to do and get low. We like, don't torture me, just pop, do something like, just get low. I listen. Please, <laughs> I probably would've, well, I probably would've been for my, please, you can have whatever you want, just let me go. Like, I promise, I'm not gonna say nothing. Like, please, let me make it. Like, I'm cute. Please, like, yeah. But, yes, you guys, this story time sometimes, that's the story time on the time that somebody broke into my apartment. Yeah, very, very scary moment for me, but very grateful that it was just my friend, like, that motherfucker play too fucking much. I'm gonna get him back. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this story time, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications so you can get notified every time your girl upload another video. And don't forget to become one of my best friends because I love all my best friends, not my best friend love me. And there's a who and there's on what? So my piece of paper point is Grandma Period. It is Vlogtober. So make sure you guys stay tuned every day, 7 o'clock p.m. Period. New videos for 31 days. <laughs> I love y'all so much, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace. They have a conversations on the trending topic. I'm just trying to see what's